Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of this rather damp Thursday afternoon just before Christmas. I have the Wandering Star Tarot on the tarot table for this reading because we have got wandering stars and if you can hear little murmurs in the background that's because Fluffy's having a snooze as I do this reading a little afternoon nap and she's, she's sort of murmuring in her sleep. Um, but I have the Wandering Star tarot on the tarot table for this reading because we're talking about Harry and Meghan who wanted to be stars in Hollywood. They launched their career to great fanfare, the big Netflix deal, the big Spotify deal, the big book deal. Um, they have released content uh, for Netflix, but now slowly but steadily criticism coming from American media and the latest one is from Variety and that is the Hollywood Bible Variety magazine and it says they are one trick ponies well they are a one trick pony due for the glue factory not a very nice image apologies for those of you who find it offensive but that is what Variety said about Harry and Meghan's Netflix reality show. It went and called it a reality show and said it questions, the author of this article questions how much more they can reveal. They have gone to the well one too many times with their oft repeated tale of mistreatment at the hands of the royal family. Basically no one's interested. They have used up all their goodwill. They have run out of content. They have run out of narrative. And um, this is very interesting because, as I say, this is the Hollywood Bible. And this article is basically uh, telling us how they are perceived by people in the industry that Harry and Meghan see their future in. So I'm going to do a five card reading with the Wandering Star Tarot. I'm going to find out um, how they are viewed in Hollywood right now, how they feel about this article because it was very critical of them. And this is literally the magazine that everyone in Hollywood reads. And um, then we are going to see, just as the hidden energy, we're going to ask the question, has Meghan Markle been blacklisted in Hollywood? Because allegedly one of the, well, the leading, the most powerful packaging agent in LA has blacklisted Meghan Markle. That is a rumor. And let's remind you, this is all rumor or speculation or just my opinion. It's a tarot reading for entertainment purposes. I read on the royal family because it's an archetypal family. We learn a lot um, from archetypes, even on Spotify when uh, Meghan Markle uh, talks about them. So that is why I do these readings. There is a disclaimer in the box below. I'm going to do a five card reading. How does Hollywood do Harry and Meghan? How do Harry and Meghan feel about this article? And um, uh, has Meghan been blacklisted? There was a uh, talk, uh, rumours a few months ago that she was looking to make a comeback in her acting career. She was looking for a rom-com. She wanted to be Julia Roberts. She wanted to go that route. That's all been shut down. It's very quiet. The only talk we get now is of wanting an apology so they can get back into the royal family. So the outcome is going to be interesting. It's the outcome for the Harkles with this Hollywood dream of theirs. Is it over? Uh, basically as a result of their whinging, their never-ending complaints, their never-ending uh, whinge fest, um, their criticism of the royal family. People are just sick of it, they're tired of it, um, especially at this time of year. Who wants to hear people moaning about how hard done by they are when other people are really struggling to make ends meet and to stay jolly and um, just try and find some optimism and some courage to face a new year and you've got these two wingers having a go at their family. We've got the emperor. This is Hollywood. This is the big guns. This is the people who make the decisions. That's what the emperor literally does. He rules, he leads, he makes decisions, he makes plans and strategies. This is Hollywood. This is Hollywood sitting there um, basically making decisions about the Harkles. This is not Harkle energies. This is very powerful energy. This message that came through in the Variety in, um, article, this was powerful stuff. This was, it feels to me, my opinion as a reader, feels like it was a very direct message to Harry and Meghan. You're done. But let's see what the cards tell us. Situation. Um, yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. Hollywood has fallen out of love with the Harkles. Um, they were wooed by the Harkles, uh, schmoozed. 
sparkles we're all oh we're so great we're so fantastic we're so woke we're going to deliver all this content for you um put your back us we're the ones we're the popular ones we're the ones everyone loves we're the ones that kids are going to love and uh no card in reverse now it didn't work um the car the, the the night is 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 movement in tarot that movement of connecting emotionally is now over it's in the reverse it's the connection is broken the wooing is over it's failed that cup of love has been removed that attraction that interest that enthusiasm and it was an emotional connection because it's manipulative it was follow us we're the popular ones we're the ones um we uh, we're the ones that were that uh, fled because we were treated so cruelly and brutally by the royal families the emperor is not buying this narrative anymore the emperor has had enough of hearing it the emperors are all family men they are um they are uh, the archetypal male and they really don't want to hear this story i can tell you that um so let's see um how um how, how does Hollywood feel about the Harkles right now? The view of them. <laughs> um, that's Megan. That's Megan there. Hollywood sees them as being very stressed out, very anxious, very worried, um, obsessed with this, this mental health business, this narrative that they've got of their victim identity. And um, the behavior panel did a very interesting um, a little clip um in their analysis of the docuseries the reality show the mockumentary the flopumentary the horrormentary whatever you want to call it um about this is her narrative that was set up right from early with that dish soap thing um, and i'm going to look at that actually in the next few days when i get a chance very busy um in the coming days if i don't show up it's because i'm just literally run off my feet um nine of swords they see her her in particular as just being completely obsessed with her own image, her own thoughts, her own status, her own narrative, her own victim mentality. I never get that energy off the Nine of Swords. But they see this differently to the normal Nine of Swords energy of someone just being stressed and worried. It's self-absorbed, it's obsessive, it's negative, it's toxic. That is the energy I, as a tarot reader, am getting off this card in my opinion. So uh, that's how Hollywood sees them. How do the Harkles feel about this highly critical article coming out in Variety magazine? The star, they don't believe it. I see this over and over again and it blows my mind. I'm getting this constantly in the readings that I'm doing at the moment. I get the most awful cards and then I get one that shines like this. Harry doesn't believe that um, he's done, you know, William hates him. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm making it up, but that's the kind of energy. Uh, Megan doesn't believe this. No, no, no. She's still the star of the show. She believes it still. She still hopes. She still has faith. She's still quite certain that her star is in the ascendant and she's going to be uh, famous in Hollywood and she's going to get her dream and she's going to get that red carpet and all the things that she's been pushing for all these years without any luck but she still believes it complete delusion but she believes it still i'm getting this energy consistently in my readings so when i get the happy ending kind of vibe in readings i do a completely toxic reading completely negative and then i get a happy outcome kind of a card it's their delusion and their delusion right now is potent they are maximum level of deluded basically because they have to be because all their content is coming out now the the series are coming out the books coming out they have to believe this they have to persuade themselves they have to the folie do they have to convince each other that they're just going to keep going and everyone's going to believe it if the royals only watched the docuseries the floppumentary the royals would believe it and feel sorry for them and give them that apology if they just keep pushing this narrative they're going to convince everyone so, um, uh, has Megan been blacklisted? I'm so, so bamboozled by these cards. I always write down my questions. I've got my cheat sheet here, piece of paper. I always have the piece of paper next to me when I do these readings. So if I forget what the question is, universe can remember. <laughs> um, but the question is, has Megan been blacklisted in holiday, in, in holiday, in Hollywood? You can tell what's on my mind. Um, has she been blacklisted? And we've got the eight of wands. That's a message that's gone out it's not a blocking energy it's not a blocking energy but it's a message 
that has gone out from somebody. Somebody has sent this message out. Um, if the card was in the reverse, I would say absolutely she's been blocked because it's literally a block. But it's a message that's gone out on about blocking. Um, and I don't think it's a rumor kind of a message. I think it's a very direct message. I said this with this emperor energy. This is a direct message to the Harkles. You're in big trouble. We don't uh, enjoy your content. We're tired of it. We're sick of you and your moaning and your whinging. And I think the message has gone out to her as well. Um, it, it, my interpretation of those cards. You, you can read it differently. You can say absolutely not. She's steaming along in Hollywood and she's doing brilliantly. But I'm not getting it. Not with these other cards. I'm getting the same vibe with that card as I get with this card. That there is a very direct message that's going out to her. You think you're a star. We think differently and we're sending that message out. We're networking with that eight of wands and we're sending the message out. Let's see though. Let's see the outcome for the Hark Holes. Um, are, they, are they toast in Hollywood or are they going to be the toast of Hollywood? How's that for a lame pun? Uh, let's see how they're going to be going. They're done. They're done Knight of Wands in reverse. They're done. Nobody wants to hear their stories anymore. Um, the, the Knight of Wands is about passion and enthusiasm and ideas and creativity and inspiring people, bouncing in with full of big ideas and belly laughs and aren't we great and I'll fire you all up. I'm the star. Follow me. It's in reverse. Nobody's interested. We've got two knights in reverse here. Uh, two nights he never made it to Emperor. The Emperor has come in and said you're done and that confirms for me that that message is true. Um, they're done. They're not going to be the toast of Hollywood. They are literally toast and um, that is it. They don't believe it yet. They're going to have to take a lot of convincing and a lot of banging their heads against brick falls before they figure it out. Netflix seems to be fudging the statistics, the viewing statistics to make things look better for the Harkholes. But uh, Netflix seems to be done with them too from readings I've done on Netflix recently. This is all, of course, my opinion. And uh, that is that for today. I'm a bit shocked by this reading. I really am. That card. So shocking. Uh, but anyway, that's the state of mind according to these cards, in my opinion. You know the drill. Thanks for watching and thanks for supporting this channel as wonderfully as you do. And I will see you again, hopefully, tomorrow.